back at Untamed Strength. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the videos from Los Angeles. You guys saw, I got my butt whooped in three challenges. I don't really care about the squats because I don't like to squat for volume. So I don't care about my 10 rep PR. I got whooped in pull-ups. I thought I did pretty good. It was a lifetime PR, 19 pull-ups of body weight. I'm good with that. I like how my back's training going, so I'm not too worried. But I got whooped in the bench press, and that's not gonna ever happen again. We got a plan. So I'm still dieting. I'm still feeling really good. A little deficit going, a little bit of cardio. The sunshine is shining here in Sacramento, California. So I got my bike out. I got a little extra cardio because I'm using it for transportation, plus a little vitamin D, just in a really good mood lately, a really good flow with podcasts, YouTube, Twitch, Follow me on Twitch for streaming all the time. I know you guys like playing games. I know you like to hang out with us, so follow us there. But the plan to get back my bench press, I want to do 315 for a lot of weight. So this is what we got. We're benching around two to three times a week. It depends on my schedule. Uh, I'm doing some kind of push press or push jerk with Benjamin Claridad uh, twice a week. So that's kind of my main pressing movements. The push press or the push jerk is kind of to complement it. Plus, I just want to be a little bit more athletic. I want to feel good. I want to move some weight. Um, so that's just a little bit extra delt work, a little bit extra push work. On the bench press, it's really hard for me to not have shoulder pain when I'm benching on kind of a crappy bench. So I'm coming to Untamed once a week to get my heavy done. Uh, my heavy work's going to involve one top single, and I'm going to try to push that. Keep it around RPE 8, um, but every week I'm going to push a little bit. Today I hit 335, which is a really good PR for me, considering I haven't benched hard in uh, eight months. Drop down set, and what I did is an AMRAP at 295, uh, within an RPE 8, 9. Then I did another AMRAP at 275. So slightly different training for maybe a rep range. Um, something like the NFL Combine, benching 225 for max reps. Uh, comment below if this kind of stuff interests you because maybe we could get a program out there, give you guys an example exactly how you would increase your 225 reps. It is slightly different than how you would bench press a one rep max in powerlifting. And again, these are all different tools we use on how to program for different activities, specificities, and sports. The powerlifting is what everyone knows and that's what everyone trains in strength training because that's like the gold standard, one rep max squat bench dead. But there's a lot of different variants in how we train. So when you're doing max reps, 315, 225, the weight doesn't matter, or that 405 squat challenge, we have to not only push our strength and keep our top end strength high because obviously if you're a 700 pound squatter, a 405 squat challenge is going to be much easier than if you're a 450 squatter doing a 405 challenge. So I'm gonna to continue to hit top single on the bench. Those back down sets is I wanna handle something pretty heavy, close to 315. Eventually I will do you know, 300, 305, 315, maybe even 325 for AMRAPs um, to train different energy systems. And then you also wanna train separate energy system and get high, high reps. So potentially even I'll do 225 AMRAPs, which I'm doing on my other day. And I know this is all over the place. This is just giving you guys an example. So Mondays are my higher rep days. I'm doing a close grip bench, 185, 205, 225, 255, somewhere in that range for max reps on those sets. And I'll do, um, sometimes I'll choose a rep range, maybe eights, tens, twelves, and I'll do two to four sets of that. The third day, if I can fit it in the week, will be regular bench, and I'll probably pause it, and I'll do somewhere in between 225 and 300, and then today's the heavy day. So it's basics, light, medium, heavy, one's high-ish reps, one's medium reps, and today's the heavier reps. Even though I did 295 for five, I believe, and 275 for six or seven, um, it's still, uh, I'm considering it my heavy day, and those rep ranges will change based on what you're trying to do, right? So a heavy day when I'm powerlifting might be set to three, two, and one. A heavy day when I'm working on reps for my bench or hypertrophy might be three, five, six, seven. Hopefully that makes some sense, right? It all is specific on what we're trying to accomplish. And I'm trying to get my 315 bench back up for more reps than I just got smoked with. So I think Omar got four or five. I would love to get back up to seven, eight, nine, maybe even 10 all-time PR. We'll see what we can do. Again, we're in a calorie deficit, so my recovery is a little bit different. My energy is a little bit different, uh, but everything's feeling good. So today's workout. Heavy squat, worked up to 485, which actually felt pretty dang smooth. It's the heaviest I've squatted in months. So PR, baby, on the way back, four, I gotta do the math, because we use a heavy squat bar, which is 55 pounds. So it's 415, 425, 435, for a couple sets of triples. Then I moved on to the bench, did the workout I told you. Finished up with some chin-ups, just cl clearing the back out. A little bit of bicep curls. We got some guests in town, so I think we're gonna go eat, say what's up to Alan, kind of relax. Marcus is here kicking it. It's been a long day, but a really good day. Nice relaxing day. 
sunny California. Appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys like more training footage, it's coming. Comment below what kind of programming, what you guys want to see. Ask your questions. Thumbs up. Turn on notifications. Salam Mike. Catch you in the next one.